Google Maps allows you to measure the real-world distance between any number of selected points, allowing you, for example, to find distances between cities for a road trip. Here's how to use that feature on desktop and mobile. To get started, open Google Maps in your web browser. Right-click or control-click anywhere on the map to set a starting point. In the drop-down menu, choose Measure Distance. Click a second location on the map to find the distance to that point. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a pop-up window displaying the total distance between the two points. To measure a more detailed path, continue laying down additional points by clicking on the desired locations. The pop-up window at the bottom of the page will update the total distance with each added point. If you want to move a point that you've already added, just click and drag it to the new location. You can also remove a point by clicking on it without dragging. When done, click the X to close the pop-up window at the bottom of the page. Open Google Maps on your mobile device. Tap and hold a position on the map where you'd like to start measuring. A red pin will drop. Tap the pop-up at the bottom of the screen for the dropped pin. Then tap Measure Distance. When the pop-up disappears, drag the map until the target is positioned over the new location where you want to measure. Then, at the bottom of the screen, tap Add Point. You should see the distance in the lower left of the screen. To measure a longer or more detailed path, you can continue adding points. Move the map again and you'll see a new line segment appear with the new target. When it's where you like, tap Add Point again. The total distance will update with each added point. Be aware that unlike on a desktop, you can't move a point that you've already added to the map, but you can remove the most recent point by tapping the Undo button at the top of the screen. And to completely start over, tap the three-dot menu at the top right of the screen and choose Clear. When you're done, tap the back arrow at the top left of the screen.